Known for its luxury experiences and impressive architecture, Abu Dhabi is a popular stopover choice for many traveling the world. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share the things to know before you go to Abu Dhabi. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. The best time to visit Abu Dhabi is from April to May or from September to October. These are the shoulder seasons of summer offering pleasant warm weather with less crowds and fairly priced hotel rates. December to March is the best time to visit if you are looking to avoid the heat. Temperatures are mild at this time, but it can be very busy, especially in the tourist spots. Plus, hotel prices rise during this time. Summer is incredibly hot, with high temperatures and high humidity levels. If you don't mind the heat though, you can find some fantastic hotel deals, meaning you can enjoy luxury hotels at a discount. So now let's look at getting there. For those traveling between the Americas or Europe across to Asia, Abu Dhabi makes for a great stopover location. Direct flights can be found from the UK, Bangkok, Rome, New York, Madrid, Athens, and many more. From the airport, you could take a taxi from the arrivals or catch a bus into the city center. Some choose to visit Abu Dhabi during their trip to Dubai, and there are a few ways that you can travel between the Emirates. You could choose to rent a car and drive or take a group tour, with day trips available on Get Your Guide and include a full day of sightseeing. We'll leave the link in the description below. There is also a bus available from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, while many taxis will take you between the destinations, with the journey taking around an hour and 15 minutes. So now let's look at getting around. There are plenty of sites all over Abu Dhabi, so you will need to choose the best transport option for you. Taxis are the easiest way to get around and you can flag these on the street or use the Abu Dhabi taxi app to book in advance. Uber is also available to use here. There are also some shuttle buses available to many tourist spots, stopping at the top hotels, landmarks and attractions along the two routes offered. You can claim a free shuttle bus pass when you buy tickets or book a hotel via the Visit Abu Dhabi website. We'll leave the link in the description below. It is common for visitors to rent a car, especially if you are spending a week or more in the Emirate, while cycling is a good option for those visiting in the cooler temperatures. So now let's look at the typical prices. Hostels aren't too popular in Abu Dhabi, but you can save money by staying in a budget room with prices starting at 100 dirham. Mid-range rooms in good locations begin at 150, while more luxury hotels and high-end branded hotels can be found from 400 when booked in advance. A meal in a local restaurant begins at around 30 dirham, and fast food options cost a similar price. Sit-down meals begin at 200, but international meals will cost much more. The UAE can be an expensive place to explore, but there are ways to save money here as well. Firstly, visit in the summer for reduced hotel rates or stick to using the budget hotel chains. Avoid the restaurants in the hotels to save money on food and instead eat in the local restaurants and get yourself simple breakfast and lunches from the markets. Enjoy the free things to do in the Emirate, like the Grand Mosque and the beaches, then get an Abu Dhabi City Pass and Big Bus Tours combined ticket. This includes a hop on hop off bus journey around the Emirate, as well as various tours and attractions, including the observation deck at 300. We will leave the link to this in the description below. There are some great theme parks worth visiting in Abu Dhabi, and to save money, make sure to book your tickets online and in advance. So now let's look at the best things to do. Although often overlooked, Abu Dhabi has a lot to offer visitors. Firstly, you need to visit the impressive Grand Mosque, but then head to the other historic sites in the Emirate, like the Fort and Palace. Spend a day at Ferrari World before cooling off at the Yas Water World. Visit the Emirates Heritage Village or spend some time along the marina. For impressive views, head to the Observation Deck at 300 and of course enjoy plenty of luxury shopping malls in the Emirate too. Families will love the Warner Brothers World Amusement Park whilst art lovers should head to the Louvre Abu Dhabi. 
Watch this video to find out the things to know before you visit Dubai. Then for 10 reasons to visit Dubai, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Abu Dhabi and stay creative.